Okay, once again, good morning class. On stay safe, huh? Okay, so on our topic is for material and strength of ships. The procedure of the production of steels, all steels used for shipbuilding purposes. Okay, the production of steel used for shipbuilding purposes start with the smelting of iron ore and the making of big iron. Okay, so to have a idea what is iron ore, no, I will show you some image no, which uh, include the iron ore. No? This is the vessel. No? I experienced this kind of vessel uh, three years ago. I bought this kind of vessel, keep size vessel. This is the iron ore. We are loading uh, iron ore. It's like a minerals or dirt, no? Unearthed uh, minerals from the mining. No? They are delivering the mining through conveyor, no? Uh, yan yung tinatawag natin buhos yung keep size vessel no? with uh, measurement of 200 sometimes 220 meters lead no? ito yung iron ore for your information no? itong ating iron ore nakapag load na ako ng ganito yung nabilog na siya no? naluto siya uh, binilog nila or ito yung lupa mismo. Yan ang ginagawang bakal. Kunti lang ang nilalagay dyan. Hindi pinupuno yung bodega. Kasi once na we load the pool, no, the ship will sink because we are loading a steel. No? Only on raw material steel. Okay, so another uh, example of iron ore is this one. No? some uh, crust na ito crust so when you are accepting uh, iron ore there are uh, the more na hindi siya na pag uh, na ano na, na luto o na nagkaroon ng mga pellets na ganyan uh, still uh, yung presyo niyan mas mura no? kasi yan yung labanan dyan Okay, normally, the iron ore is smelted in a blast furnace, which is large, slightly conical structure lined with a refractory material. To provide the heat for the smelting, coke is used and limestone is also added. This makes the slag formed by incombustible impurities in the iron ore fluid so that it can be drawn off. This makes the slag formed by the combustible impurities in the iron ore fluid so that it can be drawn out of no? if air necessary for combustion is blown into a ring of holes near the bottom and coke ore and limestone are charged into the top of the furnace in rotation okay so to have a idea uh, ito yung ano no niluluto dyan Yan, 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 mga pagluluto yun. Yan yung chamber, no? Yan yung chamber. Elect yan, electric furnace. Mga klase ng pag yan, mga pagluluto ng bakal. Here, I can show you here the sample. No? They are molding now in this uh, area. Okay, no? As you can see, there are many production here, no? Okay, so as we go back, molten metal may be drawn off in intervals from a hole or spout at the bottom of the furnace and run into the molds formed in a bed of sand or into metal molds. The resultant of pig iron is from 92 to 97% iron, the remainder being carbon, silicon, manganese, sulfur, and phosphorus 
So there are also also other elements in creating a steel bar, no? So most of them is 97% the pig iron, yung pinakipanina na iron. In the subsequent manufacture, still the pig iron is refined. In other words, the impurities are reduced, no? Okay, so there, uh, here are the different manufacturing of steel used in shipbuilding. Stems may be broadly considered as alloy of iron and carbon. The carbon percentage varying from about 0.1% in mild steels to about 1.8% in some hardened steels. No? So as you can remember, mild steel, uh, carbon percentage is I. 0.1, very small percent. While in the hardened steel, alam niyo na yung matitikas na bakal, uh, about 1.8% ang carbon niya. This may be produced by one or four different process. So, the open heart process, the bismer converter process, the electric furnace process, or an oxygen process. Process may be either an acid or basic process according to the chemical nature of the slag produced. Acids, seeds, uh, processes are used to refine pig iron, low in phosphorus and sulfur, which are rich in silicon and therefore produce an acid lag, slag. The furnace lining is constructed with acid material so that it will prevent a reaction with the slag. Okay, a basic process is used to refine Pig iron, no? pig iron, yung pellets, no? that is rich in phosphorus and low in silicon. Phosphorus can be re removed only by introducing a large amount of lime, which produces a basic slag. No? So, in order to remove, there are procedures, lime, no? ginagamitan nila ng lime in order to remove the phosphorus. The furnace lining must be must then be of basic refractory to prevent a reaction with slag. So about 85% of steel produced in Britain is of the basic type and the modern technique. It's almost as good as the acid steel produced with sequoia oil. Only the open heart part, open heart, electric furnace, and oxygen process are described here. As the Bissimer Combore process is not used for shipbuilding. So we will not discuss any more this Bissimer, no? We will only go with this topic for those uh, using in the CPR. Okay, open heart process. No? What is an open heart process? No? So you can see an open heart process. I have one picture here. Open heart. Yeah. You know, you an open heart process natin, no? Uh, paano niluluto, you know? Yeah, and then yung sistema nila. Okay, oxygen yan, oxygen. Okay, so we come back. The open heart furnace is capable of producing large quantities of steel, handling 150. Of 300 tons in a single meat. Sang lutuan lang yan, no? It consists of a shallow bath roof and a seat above the two brick line heating chambers. At the ends are opening for heated air and fuel gas or oil to be introduced into the furnace. No? Also, this permit and the escape of, burn, of the burned gas which is used for heating and uh, the air and we will, okay, pakita natin yung, ano natin, drawing natin dito. Iba-ibang klase yung parnis, no? Yung parnis. Ito. Yan, parang chamber yung, ano na yan, yung chamber na ito. Yan. Yeah. Circulation. Okay, we'll have an example now. Okay, so later on. Okay, so 
Every 20 minutes or so to the flow of air and fuel is reversed. In this process, mixture of big iron and steel scrap is melted in the furnace carbon and impurities being oxidized. So, binibernilla and gas, which is for the heating. No? Every 20 minutes, magkaklose sila ng hangin, bubugahan nila, and reverse with the fuel. No? So, oxidation is produced by the oxygen. No? When you process present in the iron oxide of the big iron. Subsequent carbon manganese and other elements are added to element eliminate ions oxide and give the required chemical composition. Okay, electric furnace naman tayo, electric furnace. Meron tayong isang image yan na electric furnace which is here, no? Electric furnace, yeah. So, ang electric panels is using to convert electricity into heat. No? Yan. Ito yung chamber. No? Ito yung niluluto nila. Pero electrical naman to. Electric panels. Okay. So, we will discuss what is electric panels. Electric panels is uh, generally of two types. The arc panels and the high frequency induction panels. Oh, so, ito ang source nito ay electrical. No? The former is used for refining a charge to give the required composition. Whereas the latter may only be used for melting down a charge whose composition is similar to the finally required. For this reason, only the arc furnace is considered in any detail. In an arc furnace, melting is produced by striking an arc between electrodes suspended from the roof of the furnace and charged itself in the heart of the furnace. The charge consists of pig iron and steel scrap and the process enables consistent results. To be obtained and the final composition of steel can be actually controlled. Electric furnace process processes are often used for the production of high-grade alloy steel. So, pag high grade steel, ang kailangan, electric furnace. Okay? Oxygen process. Ano ang oxygen process? Ang oxygen process naman, meron tayo rito isang example. Oxygen process. Ayan. Oxygen process naman. Pero, oxygen Gas, slag, yan, steel, tinutunan nila. Yan yung oxygen process. Okay, so as we continue. Oxygen is this modern steel making process by which a molten charge of pit iron and steel scrap with following elements is contained in a basic line converter. A jet of high purity gaseous oxygen is then directed into the surface of the liquid metal in order to refine it. Still from the open heart, our electric furnace is stuffed into the large ladles and poured into the ink of molds. Ink of molds, ito yung uh, maaring uh, mga steel bar na parang gold bar, no? Gold bar, yung ganong size yung bakal na nagawa na ink of molds. Na mold na siya. Uh, yun ang tutunarin, okay? It is allowed to cool in these molds until it becomes reasonably solidified, permitting it to be transported into soaking pits where the ink knot is reheated to the required temperature for rolling. Okay? Ano yung ink knot? Sige, tingnan nga natin kung ano yung ink knot steel, no? Ink knot steel. Ingot steel. Ingot. Yeah. Ingot. Hindi yung ingot na ano ha. Ingot. 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 Para makita nyo yung ingot. At nakita nyo ito sa port. Ilalagay sa barko nyo. No? Yan yung ingot. No? Ingot steel. Yan ang mga ingot. Yan, yung mga na-mold na, na parang gold bar. Yan, yan, yan ang ingot. No? Yan ang tutunawin nila sa mga planta. Okay, so I hope you learn. We will continue this.